Recently, we've seen a surge of CLI tools transforming how we use AI agents within the terminal. Companies like Google, Anthropic, and heck, even Cursor have their own CLI tools. But what if I told you that there's a new, intelligent, lightning-fast CLI that combines GPT-5 and Claude Sonnet 4 in a smart way, proving why it's the number one AI coding agent in the space? Well, let me introduce CodeLM CLI, a new revolutionary agentic tool that's redefining terminal-based development. CodeLM CLI isn't just another AI terminal tool. It combines GPT-5's raw intelligence with Claude Sonnet's 4 contextual reasoning to tackle complex coding tasks. You can generate multi-step solutions, execute them autonomously, all directly from your terminal. And don't worry, you can also use other state-of-the-art models with CodeLM CLI. With its agenda capabilities, CodeLM CLI can instantly analyze and debug code, automate repetitive tasks, integrate seamlessly with Git and other tools, and even support multiple languages. Now, unlike other CLIs we've covered on this channel, this one orchestrates both models in real time for maximum speed and precision, acting as your personal AI software engineer. In short, this is the next generation coding companion that is going to make your life super easier as it's going to improve efficiency and become your efficient partner. For example, just take a look at where CodeLM was able to generate a fully functional chat to PDF app that lets you chat with your files locally and fully private. It leverages the combined power of GPT-5 as well as Sonnet 4. And even better, if you have the chat LM subscription, you get access to CodeLM CLI completely for free. But what's truly impressive is the quality of output it delivers. Thanks to its agenda capabilities, as well as its ability to efficiently and effectively index and navigate large code bases. So essentially, if you have the Abacus AI subscription plan, you get access to CodeLM, which is the AI code editor, which is $10 per user billed monthly. This is also where you get access to all the capabilities of the editor itself, like auto completion, generating things with different state-of-the-art models. You get access to ChatLM, which is another tool, a part of the Abacus AI suite of tools, where you can chat with different large language models, use web search, image gen, and much more. You can even also access AppLM. So essentially, you get a lot out of this because not only do you get access to code LM CLI, but you get access to the other suite of tools that Abacus AI provides. But now that we have gotten all that out of the way, let's take a look at code LM CLI. To get started, you can create an account or if you already have one, go ahead and sign in. After signing up or logging in, what you want to do is head over to code LM. You could either download it through this banner or you can access it within the tool list, which is listed on the bottom left. This is where you can download code LM for whatever operating system you have. So go ahead and install it if you want to work with the CLI. After opening up the code LM editor, you just need to simply log in and configure the Abacus AI plan. And then you're going to be able to be greeted with this dashboard. This is where you have the ability to use the chat mode, the code mode, and then the new CLI mode, all directly within this new editor. So go ahead and click on the CLI mode, which will start up the CLI. To start it up manually, you can use the code LM CLI command and click enter. This will start up and you're going to be then greeted with this beautiful terminal. If you press tab, you're going to be able to switch through different models like Sonnet 4, Sonnet 4 Thinking. You have code LM, which will root the best model. You can also use GPT-5, GPT-5 Thinking High, and so many other models while working with code LM. And this is all accessible thanks to having the code LM subscription. Now, once you have chose the model that you want to use, so in this case, if I want to use the Sonnet for Thinking, I can click enter, and then I can ask anything in plain natural language to code LM to execute. For example, I can provide the context of a repository, and then I can have code LM work on processing this request of debugging the following repo and trying to improve it. And since I'm using the Sonnet for Thinking mode, it is going to reason and actually show the reasoning process as to how it's going to accomplish this task. And right now, you can see that it is analyzing through all the different folders to help process this request. And you can see right away, it has found a couple of issues just by looking at the index.html file. And it has actually even gone ahead and updated the file where it has resolved these different issues. 
Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Now, there's a lot of other commands that you can use within CodeLM. And if you click on slash, you're going to be able to see a list of them. But something cool that you can do is you can actually tag individual files directly within the CLI. For example, I'm tagging the index HTML file, and this is where I'm simply just telling it to help me restructure the front end styling for this wallpaper app. It's going to then process it, and you can see that it is actually reading the file that we had tagged within our DeepSeek web crawler or DeepSeek engineer web app. And right now it is analyzing the code and going to provide us a restructured output. And looks like CodeLM is finished restructuring that file. And we now have a Wallpaper Studio app that is fully functional. We have different templates that you can work with. And then you also have different gradients that you can edit. You can uh, work with adding different text, effects, shapes, as well as brushing different components within the canvas that is provided. This is something that was fully generated and restructured with the help of Abacus AI's CodeLM CLI tool. Now, say if there's a code diff that you want to ask a question about or tweak within the actual editor, you can simply go ahead and highlight a certain section and you can add it to the chat or agent, which you can access on the right hand panel. This is the code mode that Abacus AI provides within their code editor. So this is a way for you to use the other models and then you can tweak as well as configure certain components of the file and tweak it within the actual sidebar where you can use the chat or the actual agent to configure and tweak things. But now let's actually work on a bit more of a complex task. This is where we wanted to create a local spreadsheet to chat app. And this is where we're going to be able to chat with our Excel files, CSV files. And this is where you're going to be able to talk to the data, have it visualize the spreadsheet with different graphs, and then have a natural language component built within a chat bot that lets me get analysis on the data. This is an app that's going to be highly intuitive. So let's go ahead and send in this prompt and have the Sonnet 4 generate it. Now, something I want to note is that while you're generating things with the CLI agent, you can actually configure certain components directly live in action. Meaning if I want to change something or reroute a plan, I can tell the CLI to go through with that plan and it's going to use that action item live and reroute the previous generation with the new plan that was imposed. Now you see right here, after it has generated certain components of the code, it's actually gonna list out all the different files that it has generated. And you can actually visualize every sort of change that it has implemented. You can scroll through it, you can accept it, you can navigate. And in this case, if I wanna accept all, I can simply click on A. And you can see I have accept accepted 11 files. And now it's gonna work on the next component. And there we go, I kid you not, it built the spreadsheet to chat app where I can simply go ahead and provide mock data and you can see it's processing and right away it has already uploaded the business financial data of March 2025 quarter and you can see it has gotten the file information that I have uploaded. It has uh, also stated the size, the amount of rows that it contains, the columns, the column structure such as the different sorts of listed names that we have within this PDF or sorry, this Excel file, like the series name, period, et cetera, like the data value. And you can see all of it has been displayed. Now, the more important part is obviously the data preview is nice to see, but the AI chat, this is where we can now get a summary of what our mock data is entailing. Actually have the ability to use the GPT 4.1 mini as well as the cloud 3.5 Sonnet. Obviously I can add more models, but I just told it to add two models at the moment. You can add a new chat, but now I can ask it questions. Give me a summary of my data, please. I can simply go ahead and send in this and you can see it's giving me a summary of my data, the amount of rows, insights on what the data is, as well as a visualization suggestion, or I can request it to build a line chart of the actual app and it will save it to my app file. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more.
This is the capability of the new Code LM CLI. So I highly recommend that you take a look at it because not only do you get access to this impressive CLI, which is ranked as the number one AI coding agent, but you also get access to the different suite of tools that Abacus AI provides like Chat LM or Code LM or even something like App LM. This is something that you can easily get started with the link in the description below. So definitely recommend that you try it out. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe to the second channel. Join the newsletter. Join the Patreon. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you'll truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity. And I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.